Yeah, good morning. We do have some windy weather out there, and you can see it from a couple of our cameras now, where we do have uh, some trees moving around here as we look out toward Malibu. Temperatures are still cool, but we have the red flag conditions now because they're going to get warm in the afternoon. Humidity levels will drop. We're still in the 30s there in Malibu, uh, but it looks like we will see enough of the ingredients to have that red flag warning uh, in place here. Palmdale, you can see the trees moving around there as well. That's about 63 degrees, still calm. Winds about 25 miles per hour, but we're seeing gusts much stronger at the higher elevations through the canyons and passes. We're mostly we're right around 30 to 35 miles per hour at the higher elevations. We're closer to about 45 to 50. This is weaker than last week's. So it's not going to last as long. However, we could still see uh, some uh, elevated fire danger here as we head into tomorrow as well. So just be safe with anything that could cause a spark today and tomorrow. Those offshore winds will continue on Friday, but they will be much weaker. We'll be below wind advisories most likely and then all eyes on next week for chances of some rain more on that in just a little bit philip javana back to you okay brianna thank you and with the strong santa annas this increases the risk of fire danger as you heard from brianna there's also a chance power could be shut off for customers eyewitness news reporter rob mcmillan is live in rialto with more on this rob well, so far, no one in Southern California under a public safety power shutoff yet, but SoCal Edison says customers need to be ready. Gusty Santa Ana winds making a return appearance.